Yo, it's good. Yo, I'm pulling in right now. You got my money? Uh, yeah. I got the money for you, bro. It's no worries. Um, but you know, just take your time parking for me. Um, it's no rush, you know. I right, bet. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Yo, you got the money? Yes, sir, right here. Fire, bro, thank you. I like what you've done to the place. You want to tell me why it's only money on one side of the bill? For motion picture use only, bro. Come on. What's good, everybody? It's Chambers from ChambersMixedIt.com. Look at me uploading not a month apart. I did end up filing a restraining order against Soundguy. He must stay at least 10 feet away from me at all. I'm calling my lawyer. I'm calling. But you know, we did some drill videos for a bit. Now we back to the R&B. So today we're going to be doing a different type of R&B chord progression, one that I haven't gone over before. This one's going to be pretty simple and hopefully you can learn it easily and learn the music theory behind it. Also, I'm going to get a like for the decorations. Welcome to the winter wonderland. I made sound guy put up all those lights and whatever. And I didn't, I just didn't pay him. We're going to start with a minor seventh chord. Let's start at F. Make this a minor chord. Let's take the F minor scale, which is this. We call this a F minor seventh because right here is the seventh note in the scale. So if you count up the notes of the scale, watch, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The D sharp right here, or the E flat, whatever you want to call it, is the seventh note of the F minor scale. So that's why we call it an F minor seventh. I go into much deeper explanation in my R&B course, but I'll get to that in a second. So yeah, we're starting with this nice slow BPM 112. We could drag this out, bring it all the way out to here. And here's a chord trick for you, right? I'm going to take this root note, which is F, and drop it down one semitone. One semitone is just up or down one note. Or you could say you're going up or down 100 cents. 100 cents is a dollar. <laughs> I'm, 100 cents is a semitone. 5,000 cents, that's a PS5. So yeah, we just take this down a semitone. And you're like, what is, what is this man doing? But this is a good example of where you can break the rules of music. And it happens in R&B all the time when you step out of the scale. We just went through the scale. He's not in it. We go from D sharp to F. He gets left out like sound guys paycheck. I'm gonna put a note right in between these two notes like that, and then you can get rid of them. So it's that simple. Literally, you just bring the root note down a semitone and you put a note right in between these two and you can keep the top note the same. It's gonna sound like this now. What I'm gonna do now, I told you this is super simple. Control and drag and then hold shift and drag. Duplicate that same chord out just like that. It's literally the same chord. We didn't even do anything. We're just going to leave it like that. Shift and drag again. Let's do the same one, actually. Same chord. This is how easy it's going to be. Duplicate this over. And this will be the last one. Let's make this an augmented chord. So what you want to do for that, I'm going to drop this down. Drop this one down. Sounds like this. diminished and augmented the things that kind of go out of the scale of the song are perfect for r&b so you're going to see how this is going to sound great once we add the bass line that's what's going to really like you know what i mean we'll start easy take a copy of this hold shift and drag you want to go down an octave to the f down here what the f now it's sounding nice and full all right what do we do here? A lot of times it's gonna sound good if you go down five semitones with the chord. One, two, three, four, five. Or four semitones, but it depends on the song, but whatever works. So I just went down five semitones with the root note and we're gonna pick it up 
one semitone, that's a dollar. I should pick this up, right? It's kind of... Okay. Keep that same note and then go back down again. Pick it up a few more semitones. Altogether, we have this. Let's hit control A, highlight the whole thing, hold shift and drag it out. Boom, now we have a duplicate. This time we're gonna make it different, just with like two notes. So sometimes you don't have to change the chord or do nothing crazy, but you can add notes on top and that will change up the vibe. So let's see. Sounds like a whole different chord, but literally all we did, we just added some, some notes on top that are in the scale and that sound good. So sometimes that's all you really need. But yeah, so this, this is really like a simple progression. If you want to be able to learn and make more complex R&B chord progressions and really learn the music theory behind them, I have a whole R&B course on my site that's over an hour of music theory teaching. We go over minor chords, major chords, augmented, diminished, how to make them, how to hear them, scales, two, five, ones, all different types of chord progressions and how you can make them from scratch. But like, I'm not, I'm not even lying when I say this, that hundreds of people have been learning from this course. Shout out to all the people who have been emailing me or DMing me, like saying that this course has helped them. And some of you have been sending me the beats and the chord progressions that you make after watching the course. And y'all been killing it, bro. And it's just cool to know that you guys are actually applying the techniques that you learn. I'm gonna leave a link to the course in the comment section and in the description. It has 10 R&B chord progressions that are like super fire and over one hour of music theory and music production course videos for you is at chambersmixedit.com slash soundkits. Moving on with the chord progression that we have. It's dry right now, so let's put it into the mixer, sauce it up. I'm gonna use this brand new, bro, this is the sauce. This is where the secrets is at. Baby audio spaced out reverb. This is the, the shh. They literally just dropped this plugin like two days ago or something like that. This just came out. This is fire. Have you ever seen a reverb that looks like this? I'm gonna press play, just listen. It's a combination between reverb and delay. And I love to use it on R&B melodies and chord progressions. It just sounds like that spaced out, washy, ocean type vibe that you want. I'm gonna go through the presets. Let's see. Beautiful roads, I like that. Cause we are using a road, so. You can hear how it's a mix of like delay and chorus and reverb. Then you can come over here and you can control pretty much the length is the decay. I'll leave it like right here. Add some pre-delay. The width is nice. But here's before. Dry, boring, whatever. You add spaced out. I'm gonna put a link to that reverb in the description and in the comment section for you guys. So the next step after that is to add the bass. Pretty much, I'm gonna just copy the root note. Same thing. Up the velocity. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Yo. The reverb with the thickness of the bass, bro, that's crazy. I meant to drop this note down, so make sure you do that if you're following along. I added that note right there, so we're gonna pick it back up pretty much. Instead of just leaving it the same, we could go up to the F sharp, sounds like this now. Fire, control A, highlight that, control C, copy, control X, cut, add a new pattern, control V to paste it. Now we have it in different patterns. And we're ready for the drums now. I'm gonna go into my Chat Fusion drum kit, get some drums real quick, get a clap, get some hi-hats, some open hi-hats, some perks, you know? Let's add the clap, let's like this. Or if you want to do it the depressed way, you could go like this.
but you know, we're, we're, we're for the club tonight, so we're just gonna go. You gotta, you gotta hype it up for this. Hi hats. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna zoom in. Every other hi hat, I'm gonna select it, and then I wanna duck them down in velocity just to give it more of a dynamic feel instead of just the same, same hitting thing every time. You know what I mean? You wanna, you wanna go. Yo, what's that sound? I think of you. Bro, there's this perk sound in that song that sounds so crazy. It goes like. I don't know if I want to keep that or not. I'm going to just have that. Open hi-hat, go into the envelope tool, put everything down except for the hold so we can control how long we want to we wanna extend it. Just like that. I might pan it a little bit. Getting the bounce in with the perks. My favorite perk, this one. Kick four, you already know. Crazy's kicking the kit. Oh. I mean, I wasn't gonna do it, but you know I had to add the fire lead, bro. Yes, sir. If you're interested in learning more complex R&B techniques and even how to make that, that little lead melody that we just did, that's all taught in the course right here, along with the 10 fire R&B chord progressions. Link in the comments section and in the description. And this perk, bro, that, that made the song realistically. I gotta go figure out how to get counterfeit money on both sides of the paper so I don't have to pay someone. Thank you all for tuning in. I appreciate it. But yeah, so I'm gonna need you to have a happy new year for me. All right? <laughs>